All right, so the first video was clear. I was showing, our previous video, I should say, was pretty clear. I was just showing you how to load uh, progressions into the MPC software from MIDI progressions and then bring them into the uh, MPC. But then the question still remained in my mind was, can we bring, can we just take those MIDI progressions, if they're already a MIDI progression, and just bring it directly into the MPC and then make it a chord progression? Uh, that you can use in the pad perform mode like that right and the answer is yes so let's show you how I did it the first thing I did was I'll talk you through this part was pretty much just on the MPC uh, you need to make a MIDI a folder where you can store the MIDI right so I just made a simple folder that said MIDI um, and then I inside of it, I made another folder that says progressions. And then I add all those MIDI files into that progression folder because that's the type of MIDI they are, right? I didn't want to put them in like a folder that says drum MIDI because then obviously it's not drum MIDI. So that worked. And then if you look on here on the MPC and you go to browse, so shift and then the menu button for browse, you'll see in the directory, here it is right here. Here's my folders right in my on my MPC um, SSD, which is inside the MPC. Or if you have a SD card, you can do it on there too. Made a MIDI folder. If you go into that, you'll see I made a chord progression folder. And here's all those chords that I got for free, right? So let's pick one, preferably one I haven't already done. Uh, let's do B minor. I don't think I've done this one. All right, so we'll do B minor. And what you want to do first is just hit load. It's going to say the current sequence is used, load into the next unused sequence. Okay, well, that's got to happen. So you hit load. Hit the main button, go back. So this is the first sequence where the piano is on and where I would probably build. But then you'll see, there it is, free chords, 10. It's loaded to a sequence. And it's you see it's loaded to a MIDI program. Well, I'm not going to use it in here. What I do like about this is it tells you what that BPM was for that MIDI. So it's 115. So you could kind of see if you want to adjust your chords to that. But here's where the problem lies. If you click this little thing here, you'll see only half of it's there. That's because I'm going to zoom in. It's a four bar. It's four chords, basically, is what it is. So you see it's four bars. So in order to make that work, I have to change the end over here to four. And now you'll go back and you'll see you have your four chords. All right. Now, this is where it gets even more simpler. You want to make this a chord progression under track, the pencil icon. The pencil has a lot of the different features. You can humanize stuff, create random stuff. But right here under save is convert to progression. And this is what I was looking for. I couldn't figure out. Somebody uh, said it was there. And I, and I think it was um, iPad beat making told me it was definitely there. And of course I heard it was, but I couldn't find it. And then when he told me, there it is. Hit that button. Now you can sit here and try to put the style type in. This is showing you the first chord and the name of that chord. I'm not gonna adjust it. I'm gonna, you could name, rename that progression if you want to. I'm not gonna do all that. I'm just gonna leave it at free chords 10 BP, BM because I have so many different chord progressions now. I, I'll get confused. So. At least I'll know it matches the MIDI, right? There it is. All you got to do is hit do it. Now, if you leave this on here, it's going to be on here. So I, what I like to do is just hit pencil clear because it's already done, right? Hit the main button, go back to the first progression. And now under here, I'm going to switch this to 115. It doesn't really matter what you switch it to. That's when you're recording and you're going to put it on there. You'll see right here, free chord progressions. And there's the B minor right there that's what we did i believe was b minor click it and there's your and this looks like whoever made this one they only made four chords for obviously for the whole song so you'll have to use or find the octave you want to play it in Anywho, really cool. 
simple way. This video is longer than what it needs to be, five minutes. I'm gonna kill it now. Um, just wanted to show you that you can do it right in the MPC with straight MIDI without having to, and why is this thing shaking? Without having to do all that extra going through the computer software. All right, enjoy.